Hey, this is a follow-up video to the previous one in which I explained how to use Yuka to add AI to a scene's objects. Having said that, if you didn't watch that video, make sure to check it out. I'll leave you the link to it in the description below. So, to create a self-driving car that follows a given path, we are going to use the previous project's code and we'll just update a few things. First, we'll need to import the GLTF loader to load our model, which is a very simple and basic thing to do that I explained in my 3GS guide. As you can see, we got our model in the scene, but we'll need to add a light source to make it appear correctly, and we'll change the camera position for a better view. There we go, and now all we need to do is remove the cone mesh and attach the car model to the vehicle instance. To do that, we'll comment out this block of code, then take all this Yuka related logic and put it on top of the load method to prevent any variable scope problems. Now we'll start by changing the checkpoints of the path, which is not a necessary step. I just want a wider path for the car to follow. Next, we'll take this line which is used to link the mesh with the vehicle instance and put it in the load callback function, and of course we need to put our model as the first argument. Now if we take a look you see that the car doesn't move, and you should know the reason behind that. Exactly, we need to set matrix auto update to false. And now we got our car moving, but as you can see, it is no more affected by the geometric function scale.set. To fix that, we need to use the scale property from the Yuka vehicle instance instead of the 3GS set method. So we'll comment out this line and then replace it with this one, which is self explanatory. And now our car looks half its original size, which is exactly what we want. The next thing we are going to do is change some optional values like on path behavior, and here we'll make our car follow the path in a more strict manner, and we'll also increase the speed. Finally, as you can see, the car doesn't move in a realistic way when it reaches the checkpoints. To fix that, we'll make it change its direction a bit earlier before it reaches the checkpoint, and that by increasing the value of the second argument of the follow path behaviors constructor. And that's it for this tutorial, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.